Imagine that you just finished dinner and you're stuffed. It was a great meal, but you need a few minutes to digest. So you go sit on the couch and you pull up your phone and you, you go on TikTok. It's a pretty normal thing to do these days. And you're scrolling through your For You feed and all of a sudden you see your grandmother on the For You page doing this. <laughs> You'd probably be thinking the same thing I'd be thinking. How the hell does grandma have more clout than I do? Son of a bitch! I mean, this woman witnessed the birth of rock and roll, and 70 years later, she's got 3.6 million followers on TikTok. That's gotta be some sort of Guinness record or some shit. Come on, baby! Aw. Aw, Graham's doing the twist. That's adorable. <laughs> From sociopathic cake murderer to adorable dancer, Grandma, she's dynamic, okay? And she's she's crushing the game right now, making all of our excuses for why we're not getting what we want out of life look pretty silly, if I'm being honest. In fact, I'm feeling rejuvenated because old people are fucking crushing it on TikTok. Look no further than Addison Ray's mom, Sherry Nicole. Now from the top, make it drop, that's some wet, that's some wet. I can't Oh my god, the form, the execution. 10 out of 10. I'm docking points though, because I had to watch the Addison Ray reaction, because I believe Sherry deleted the actual TikTok of that. I imagine once the likes and the comments kind of faded away, the shame started to set in, and she might have. She might have. <laughs> I guess she just didn't have the balls to marinate in the amount of shame it takes to be an adult TikTok star. But fortunately, her husband and Addison Ray's father uh, picked up the torch for her. I'm talking wop, 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 that's some wet. No cap, though? I absolutely love it. You know, they make me feel better about all the years of embarrassing skits I did with Nigel. And it's nice to know that there's still room on TikTok for old people like myself. As long as your daughter has 66 million followers. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta get to the bottom of what's going on with Psycho Grandma. But before we do, I need to get to... Fuck! This video is sponsored by Raycon, which is dope. And I actually put a little extra effort into the spot today. So I'm curious how you think it went. Because who gives a fuck about the video? Like, how'd, this, <laughs> how'd the sponsorship come out? <laughs> let's, let's take a look. I'll see you in a minute. It's been over a year now. I've been using my Raycon Everyday E25 True Wireless Earbuds. And I'm continuing to love them. Not only are they half the price of other premium brands, they look fly as hell and they're adored by the likes of Snoop Dogg, the 420 King, and Mike Tyson, the Uppercut King. These everyday E25s, Raycon's best yet. Not only are they comfortable as hell, they have a sleek, noise isolating fit and an impressive bass response for wireless earbuds. So they're perfect for when you're on the run or clocking reps on your son's swing set. You get six hours of playtime, easy Bluetooth pairing, and the case charges them on the go, so I can swing all day without ever having to plug in. So if you're still on the fence for some reason, Raycon gives you a 45-day free return policy, so if you don't love them, you're not stuck with them. So if you're in the market for a new pair of affordable wireless earbuds, you can use my link in the description. That's buyraycon.com slash leonlush to get 15% off your very own pair. I appreciate you. Hi, Grandma Sandy here. You know, it's summertime, back. it's hot, and I just feel like doing One, something two, different. Three, oh man, Grandma Sandy doesn't give a fuck, dude. A good haircut never hurt anybody. I mean, I've seen a lot of midlife crises, right? But this is one of the first end of life TikTok induced crises I've seen. I gotta be honest though, that little pink strand she left at the end is looking kind of fly. <laughs> Came out of left field with the pie in the face too. She was probably thinking to herself, you know, just shaving my head is not usually as slapstick as I normally do it. So let's just do the out of left field pie in the face just to seal the deal to get those likes and shares, just in case. You know, if my memory serves me correctly, I'm almost positive I saw Sandy the Psycho on my For You page for some Mentos and Diet, uh, Diet Coke months ago. Yeah, it's the one. 53.6 million views. This was her magnum opus, I think, that begun her virality on TikTok. You know, I've seen this done a couple of times on a couple of different Regular videos, Coke, Sandy, I'm you dog. Sure this is real, and I just want to see what's up. Here we go. The punchline. <laughs> it's the perfectly cut scream that does it for me every time. Hi, it's 
from a Sandy here. And do you know what time it is? I, well, I think it's pie in the face time, Grandma. It's pie time! Let's see it. <laughs> this lady's really out here living her best life. Amen. Man, if I'm even half as carefree and clouded to the teeth as Sandy B. Psycho and my son's in his 40s, I mean, I'll consider, I'll consider life a W. It's such a stereotype that as people get older, they just get more and more miserable, and Sandy is demolishing! Hey, hey. That particular stereotype with these fun, light-hearted, cute pie and soda videos, and I am a fan. Holy shit, rinse and repeat the same formula with the Pepsi almost 100 million views. Mother of Christ. You know, I found out the hard way the last time that I tried this. And so I haven't seen this done with any other sodas before. And I just don't think it's going to be as crazy. Uh, spoiler alert, it works with most sodas. I love that she puts the me like the Mentos in and then purposely directs it at her face. It's so clutch. No! No! No, not again! <laughs> Why is that funny, dude? Like, you know what's coming. It's not a surprise. It's obviously planned, but it's still funny every time. Oh, Sandy, what a treat. Hi, it's Grandma Sandy here. And I it can't possibly be funny a third before, time, right? And I thought, what the heck? Why don't I just try them all? I can't admit, like, we know exactly what's going to happen, but... <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Still, Whoa! <laughs> it's still, it's still well, funny. that's Diet Coke for you. Okay, if I'm honest, I'm starting to worry a little bit. Grandma Sandy is becoming a little unhinged. I'm, I'm worried that she's letting the clout and the followers start to get to her head, right? You start to worry. I'm gonna fall off, right? What happens? You could just keep going bigger and better like Mr. Beast. First it was $10,000, now he's giving away a million. With Sandy, she's starting off with Mentos and Diet Coke, and now she's... Screaming like a lunatic rubbing pie in her face for no fucking reason. It's 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 concerning. Go get an ice cream cone and tell them your back hurts and you can't grab it to just throw it and say thanks and leave. Okay, why not? <laughs> well, I can give you a few reasons why not, but I guess one vanilla ice cream cone, please. You <laughs> can do everything your your comments ask you to do, I guess you know what's Hi, could you uh, my back's really hurting me. Could you please just throw it right here? Just go ahead, throw it. I gotta hurry, I gotta go home and take my meds. Just throw it right here. Throw it, throw it, yes, throw it. Come on, hurry, hurry, I gotta go. Come on, hurry. Woo! Whoa, thank you. Thank you very much, thank you, bye-bye. I'm telling you, dude, clout is a hell of a drug, and Sandy is high as fuck on likes and comments. I think like 20, 30 years down the road, there's going to be researchers doing some case studies on what clout does to people's brains. Sandy might be an example. I love her to death, but what do you? What's going on? Grandma loves. Eggs. Oh Jesus, it's progressing. The brain, the brain worms. Oh. Somebody come get their grandma, man. She is off the rails. 37.4 million views on that one. This is the problem with social media, TikTok. Every every social media, really, it, it rewards, like, mental illness. Like, it rewards brain worms. The more ludicrous, bullshit, insane things that you do, the more interaction and comments you get, and that feeds the algorithm and it propagates. So it incentivizes people being brain dead on the internet in order to get views. This is, of course, a topic I've talked about for years on this channel. It's just not always somebody's grandmother that lets the clout brain worms sink in. It's usually like a 17-year-old, so it feels unique in a way. You have to love this lady, though, honestly. I criticize, you know, people for doing crazy shit for clout, but who, like, who really gives a shit? She's living her best life at the end of the day and crushing it on TikTok. I hope they're making some money, you know what I'm saying? And let's just... All right, maybe I, maybe, it, okay, maybe I spoke a little too soon. This might be, we might be on the border of problematic. 
quite frankly, I don't know what else there is to say about it. But we live in a brand new world now, and Sandy is adapting much better than most. I mean, we got half the country out of a fucking job because of this pandemic, yet Sandy, the grandmother psycho over here, is thriving by rubbing PB&J and chocolate cake all over her face. We live in the upside down. That much has become abundantly clear these last couple of years, and you either adapt or you die. And Sandy is adapting just swimmingly. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please follow me on Twitch and watch my fucking streams. And please pull down your shorts and sit your bare asshole on a chocolate cake and rip a humongous fart and then stand up and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I would appreciate you for it. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then, peace. Yeah.